Papa John's has undergone some major changes in the last few years, but the powers that be keep telling us the pizza has stayed the same. Welcome to Papa's house. Today is an exciting day in the history of Papa John's. It's an exciting day because we're going to be breaking down the burning question that's been on everyone's mind. How does Papa John's make such good pizza? Here's your answer. To make a good pizza, you gotta start with a good base. And if you're wondering what goes into Papa John's base, look no further than the official website. That's where all the ingredients are listed, and what a distinguished and delicious list it is. Hungry? Feed your imagination. Feed your anticipation. If you're ordering a traditional hand-tossed Papa John's pizza, the crust consists of some really rather basic ingredients. Unbleached, enriched wheat flour, water, sugar, soybean oil, salt, and yeast. One supposed Papa John's employee told Pizza Recipes 101, you must let the dough proof until it's about three inches thick. Then you must roll it with a roller with studs on. That will give you the texture of the pizza. When making the crust, you use all your fingers except pointers and thumbs and press into the border of the dough about one fourth inch for the thickness of the pizza crust. You must do this before slapping the pizza. Thanks for clearing that up. Now that's serious pizza. Having a good crust is just the beginning. If you want to make a truly superior pizza pie, you're going to need a truly kick-ass tomato sauce. And Papa John's knows it. We're fanatics about quality. Nobody does, but Papa John's does. The company website handily breaks down the ingredients for you. Fresh vine-ripened tomatoes from a can, salt, garlic, spices, oils, and sugar. Oh, and a word of warning, the sauce might contain a lot of sugar. That is, if a former manager on Reddit can be believed. Another alleged Papa John's employee told Pizza Recipes 101 that you should spread the tomato sauce to one inch from the border of the pizza. So now you know. When you're making a pizza, you gotta use the right cheese. Crispy, crunchy, cheesy. Papa John's new pan pizza. Turns out Papa John's choice in cheese is rather similar to that of its competitors. And as a Papa John's customer, you regularly have two tasty choices to choose from. A blend of Parmesan and Romano, or a most delicious three-cheese blend. The latter consists of provolone, fontina, and Asiago cheeses. According to Forbes, Papa John's cheeses are provided by Leprino Foods, the same company that supplies cheese to Domino's, Little Caesars, and Pizza Hut. However, each chain uses their own unique blend of cheeses, and that's one of many reasons these pizzas all taste different. In 2016, Papa John's launched a new pizza, the Pan Pizza. That's a Papa John's Pan Pizza with up to five toppings or specialty, only $10. Papa John's chief ingredient officer told Business Insider that it took a year and a half to perfect the pan pizza, which is made using a different process than the chain's other offerings. The dough has only seven ingredients. It's rolled out with a spiky docker to get rid of any potential bubbles, and then it's put in a pan instead of being hand-tossed. After that, sauce, toppings, and cheese are added. The cheese is spread all the way to the crust for that perfect cheese ring you crave so very, very much. Pan pizza isn't made in the same oven as hand-tossed or thin-crust pizza, so restaurants have to add special equipment to their kitchen or have two different ovens. Now let's talk about the outer edge of Papa John's pan pizza. Business Insider dutifully reported that there's less crust and more of a caramelized crisp. Oh, we are so very there. Papa John's slogan is certainly no secret. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. But word to the wise, some of those so-called better ingredients might not be quite so fresh. According to a former manager writing on Reddit, Papa John's has a spinach alfredo sauce that's delicious but only gets ordered maybe once a week. And it hits its sell-by date three days after you open the bag, but no one actually throws it out until it's either gone or nasty-looking. Apparently, the toppings suffer from a similar problem. Writing on Reddit, a supposed employee claims that so few people order anchovies that the leftover is sometimes forgotten and will still end up on a pizza. This tattletale employee also described a chicken topping that comes to the stores in a bag that has a strong chemical odor. Hmm, maybe we'll just order a cheese pizza next time. 
What makes Papa John's pizza so very, very special? There are theories. A lot of people would say it's all those unique extras you get. You might be most familiar with the chain's garlic sauce, but it's hardly the only sauce available at Papa John's. Other dipping sauces include ranch, buffalo, and barbecue. You can also add extra pepperoncini or get packets of crushed red pepper or Parmesan cheese. And talk about unique, the garlic sauce, by far Papa John's most popular extra, had a limited edition one-gallon jug release in 2018. Yes, it's so good that fans bought it by the gallon. Sounds like some Papa John aficionados really know how to keep it classy. Our kind of people. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite pizza chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.